Hey you guys, I'm Ava, and let's open some Pokemon cards. So today I'm going to be doing something I've never done before, which is opening a mystery box from eBay. This is one purchase, but for some reason the seller decided to ship it in two bags. I want to see if I can get anywhere close to the value of it. I'll be happy if I get $30 because I did put in a best offer for $35. If I get $30 worth of value, I'll be happy and I'll be ecstatic if I get anything more than that. And let's just hope that I get some cool stuff. The seller had decent reviews. I'm not going to tell you guys who it was. And I ordered this anonymously so they didn't know I'd be making a YouTube video. Let's get right into it. Let's cut these open and zoom on in and see what we got. All right, I cut the first one open and let's see what's inside. Okay, uh, so I can see some packs already. I'm not sure what they are, but we'll see. Um, I'm guessing they're gonna be packs that nobody really wants to buy. So maybe some of the early Sun and Moon sets or XY, but we'll see. Right now, honestly, anything is a bit overpriced. So any kind of pack isn't too terrible. Uh, I can see right off the bat that we have a common card, so that does not fare well for what cards will be behind. But I do see some in sleeve, so hopefully we'll be able to get something good. I have some top loaders at the ready in case we do, even though the odds are slim. All right, let's crack this open and see what we have. Okay, well, I was right. First off, we have a Sun and Moon uh, pack. These are still very cheap. A Sun and Moon a booster box is only about $200, I believe, which is actually really affordable. And if you guys don't have any, you might want to pick one up just because it is fairly reasonably priced for how old the set is. And I think that in the next couple of years, it'll definitely get a bit more expensive. So if you want that, pick it up, but it doesn't have that great of cards in it. So if you're not interested, I would skip it. Our next one is Battle Styles, which is uh, in a lot of people's opinions, the worst of the sets to come out this year. It's still a good set, just a bit lackluster in comparison to the others. Okay, we've got a Shining Fates pack. That's not bad. Maybe we'll get something good in there. And a Vivid Voltage pack. That's not terrible either. I think this one's pretty good. I really like Vivid Voltage. I think it's a great set, and I hope I get an amazing rare in here. Or, of course, the Rainbow Pikachu or anything like that. Let's go through and look at the cards that came in it. Okay. I'm gonna be going uh, just through these real quick. I'm guessing these are all just gonna be commons. Yeah. And I'm guessing the seller shipped these in two bags because it's a bit cheaper. Okay, we have a Dragapult V. So this is one of the promos from Shining Fates. Oh, Reverse Hollows. I hope that's not the majority of this. Okay, we've got Reverse Hollow, Regular Hollow, Reverse Hollow Energy, a Reverse Hollow Common, a Hollow. This is kind of a cool Pokemon, Thievul. I like him. Uh, Galarian Weezing, C Dot, uh, Decidueye, Reverse Hollow Rare, another Hollow, Salazzle. Oh, wow. This is actually kind of cool. We've got an Espeon EX. It's actually in fairly decent condition. Um, it's got a little nick right here, but that would definitely be a very good card to have in the binder. And I know a lot of people who like this Pokemon, uh, so I might be giving this to one of my friends. That's actually really cool. I was not expecting uh, such a good card. We'll put that in the back and see what else we can get. Okay, we have Tintino. Dartrix, and these are both shinies, uh, the baby shinies, and then a reverse hollow. So honestly, for the first one, that's not too bad. That Espeon EX is probably worth maybe like 10 bucks. I'm not sure of the price I'd have to look because it depends on the condition, so I'll take a closer look. And then we did get four packs from this, and these two are actually pretty good. I'm excited to open these. And these ones, they're okay, but let's see what else we're able to get. I'm gonna open the second one now. I'm guessing it's gonna be more of the same, but we shall see. Yep, it looks like it's exactly the same. I'm guessing they probably send two of these to each person who buys this. That would be my suspicion, but if so, honestly, that's a pretty good value for how much you're paying. Right off the bat, we see Shining Fates. That's good, that's a step up. I think also, like, for how much you're paying, that's actually a good value. Um, another Vivid Voltage pack, okay. Sun and Moon, and I'm guessing it's going to be Battle Styles. It is. So we have the exact same packs, just in a slightly different order, and uh, some different card art, so that's great. I hate this guy, but 
happy to have this. So we got eight sealed packs and none of these are terrible. So, I mean, these are probably worth together, let's say $4 a pack. That's gonna be 32 bucks right off the bat. And I think with these two, we've already made our money back. So I'm surprised that this is actually turning out to be something that you can make a profit off of. If this goes well, I might have to get another one of these. I've never bought a mystery box before and I never thought I would, but since I'm opening on camera, I feel like that's a decent excuse. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's the same deal. So I'm gonna take off our sealed cards and let's see what we got here. Just a bunch of commons and uncommons, I'm guessing. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these. I'm guessing they're all from Sword and Shield era sets or maybe Sun and Moon. So let's take a look at our sleeved cards and see what we have. Okay, right off the bat, we have a baby shiny. Reverse hollow, reverse hollow. Okay, we've got some <laughs> XY Evolutions cards. Um, that's great, some good old commons. I'm not super hyped on Evolutions, but it could be worse. Okay, we have a base set Starmie. That's cool. Um, maybe worth like 50 cents. Uh, B Sharp. Reverse Hollow Rare. I'm hoping for another Ultra Rare in this. I feel like there's gotta be at least one. Reverse Hollow. Okay, we have a Full Art Lapras GX. I hope that isn't our only pull from this. But I have one card left and I think it might be. Okay, let's see. Yeah, just a Reverse Hollow. So of the cards, no insane value there aside from that Espeon, but maybe we pulled something really good in the packs. Let's open the packs and see if we can pull anything decent. Let's go through these packs. I'm gonna open up what I'm most excited for last. And so I'm gonna start with Sun and Moon. I'm not very excited about base set Sun and Moon. I did just tell you guys that it's a good deal, but the actual pack opening experience isn't the best. I've definitely had better. Um, I'm also very unlucky. Okay. Here's the code card. Um, let's try three and see if the energy's in front. Okay, so one more. All right. Dragonair, Charge a Bug, Crushing Hammer, Young Goose, Litten, Firo, Paris, Lilypop, Decidui. Okay, this is gonna be our ultra rare. Ooh, regular rare parasite. Okay, so nothing good in that one. Not surprising. My luck is terrible, and this set isn't the best either. All right, next pack of Sun and Moon. Let's see what we get. Okay, there's the code card. All right, four from the back. There's our energy. Pins here. Repel, Golbat, Growlithe, Poplio, Wingull, Surskit, Young Goose, Marini, let's see. Ooh, another regular rare. My bad luck continues. All right, let's go for battle styles next. And I think we're gonna end on Shining Fates. All right. the code card. I play the, I play the online TCG a bit, but I don't play it enough where I'm really willing to go through and enter all the code cards. I like to play with the theme decks, I'll be honest. Um, I really want to play in person again, but with COVID, it's, it's not really super convenient as well. It's pretty hard for me to get anywhere where I can actually play in person. So right now I'm just collecting, but that's the best part in my opinion anyway. Okay, this is kind of cool. We have a reverse hollow rare Luxray. I really love Luxray, it's a great Pokemon. And regular rare. Okay, let's see what we can get. Really hoping to get at least one ultra rare in these eight packs. Um, but as you guys can see, my luck isn't great. So let's get a turnaround. Give this video a like so I can get some luck, please. Thank you. Oh my god, look at the edges on those. Holy cow, that is so bad. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not, but that is absolutely terrible. 
I know that they've been trying to print a lot right now, so the quality's gone down a bit, but that's a lot of edgeware. Like this one in particular, I think this one's gonna be our ultra rare. At least that one looks to be in decent shape. Um, well, not the best. So none of these are <laughs> PSA 10s, but I don't grade my cards anyway. So it's not that big of a deal to me, but you know, I'd appreciate for my uh, cards to come out mint from the pack, not lightly played. We'll see, we'll see. I think this is actually like a pretty great deal. Um, if you know somebody who collects, especially a kid, I think this would be a really good gift for them because you know they're gonna get at least something decent depending on who you're buying from, um, but they get a bit more mystery and there's a bit more variety and it's not too expensive. So let's see if I've got an ultra rare. Regular rare, that's, I'm four for four, you guys. Comment below, do you guys think I'm gonna get anything that's not just a regular rare? Please let me know. Do any of you guys have any faith at all that I will get some ultra rares? I'm doubting it right now. Okay, let's do Vivid Voltage first, and we're gonna save Celebi, because Celebi is much better than this piece of Sorry, uh, than this guy, who I don't like. I, I'm very careful not to tear the packs, just so you know. Um, I'm very bad at opening them, so I'd be more likely to cause some damage that way. But let's see, again, the damage, it's not much better on Vivid Voltage. It looks a tiny bit better, but you can still see the print quality is not great. However, I do appreciate that they're trying to print as much as possible, even if it doesn't seem as enough, especially for Vivid Voltage. It's getting kind of expensive, at least the ETB. I don't know if that ever got a reprint. I know that the booster box did, so that's not super expensive, but the ETB is over $100 right now, I believe, or just about 100, which is pretty crazy considering it just came out this year. And I actually saw some news that it's not getting reprinted for, oh, okay, we have Nessa. That's kind of cool. Everyone loves her. All right, let's see if I've got an ultra rare. Do you guys think I have one? Oh, no, but if I'm gonna get a regular rare, this is the one to get, Charizard. I think he might go for a couple bucks. We'll see when I'm totaling this up. But yeah, I'll check him out. Let's see. He's not in too bad of shape. Um, there's a little bit of edgeware at the top here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's not great. Okay, I'll put him at the back just so I can feel like I've pulled something. Shining Fates, if anything, is gonna be my savior because the pull rates on that set are just insane. Can I keep my streak going? Got our energy. Oh, Mighty Anna is one of my favorite Pokemon. As a kid, it was probably my second favorite after, of course, Entei, which I talk about all the time being my favorite Pokemon. Oh my god, and we've got Poochyon in the same pack. Let's see. I'm really hoping. Okay, we've got another Nessa. Do you guys think that I can get an ultra rare? Comment below. Oh, regular rare. All right. Let's see what let's see what we can get in these last two packs. We've got two packs left. Let's open these up. We'll save Dragapult for last because we have one back here. Maybe he can give us some luck. You know, I my luck right now is terrible, but don't let that dissuade you guys. Unless I don't get anything, um, maybe then you can. I would I would understand then, but maybe I'll get a Charizard. Maybe I'll be really lucky. Wow, look at the code card. That's terrible. Huh. Okay, well, here it is. <laughs> We've got our energy card. Oh my god, I love this guy. He's one of my favorites from this set. The full art, he's beautiful. Okay. I'm really hoping I can get another Charizard to go with this guy, but I don't think it's gonna happen. More Peko. Coughing. Gossifler. Horsey. All right. Second to last pack. Oh. We have a regular rare Celebi. I like Celebi, so I guess I can't be too mad. I'm just a little mad. All right, you guys, last pack. This is the one. Give this video a like to compensate for my lack of pulls, please. 
I need something to make this feel worthwhile because right now I'm really regretting my choice to open all eight of these um, because it means I just lost about $30. This one's not as bad. Oh, wow. Okay, that one's really bad. And that's going to be what would be our ultra rare. So that's unfortunate. But I hope it's something good anyway. I'd rather have, you know, a lightly played ultra rare than a mint regular rare. Another more Pekka. Okay, reverse hollow rare Galarian Weezing. Comment below, you guys. Get wishing me luck so that I can hopefully pull something decent. Let's see. Oh, no. oh well, <laughs> sadly, this is a step up. It's our only hollow rare from all of these. It's a Decidueye. Um, it's mildly concerning that I didn't pull anything in all eight of these packs. Uh, I'm very hesitant to ever suggest that People might weigh packs or anything like that, especially because it is difficult to, but someone can open up a booster box and once they pull the expected amount of ultra rares, just stop. So I'm really hoping that's not what happened here, but if it is, that's okay too, because at least I made a YouTube video so you guys can watch it. So we're gonna add up the total value of everything that I've actually pulled. Starting out, we have Charizard. He's worth about a buck 50, which isn't too bad for being a regular rare. Then we have Dragapult. He's just the promo that everyone has. So he's worth about two bucks. Then we have this guy, Baby Shiny. He's worth about two bucks as well. Lapras, surprisingly worth about four bucks. That's honestly more than I was expecting. Dartrix is also about four bucks. And then this one surprised me, Chintino. Despite how terrible his centering is, he's probably worth about seven bucks, um, which just validates my love of chinchillas even more. And then our Espeon in lightly played condition is worth about $14, which is honestly more than I was expecting. And just for a shout out at the end, our amazing regular rare Celebi, which is worth about 15 cents. So our total is gonna flash on the screen. This is just including everything we've pulled. And now I'm also gonna show the total with the packs unopened. So just the cards that you would have gotten and the pack value because it's definitely gonna be higher and I don't want my bad luck Whoa! to really influence things because it's just so shit. All right, well you guys have seen, you guys can decide for yourself whether or not an eBay mystery box is something you wanna purchase. Always be careful, look for a seller with good reviews, and just know that anytime you buy something on eBay, you're putting your trust in a stranger on the internet, and they're most likely gonna give you things they can't sell easily otherwise. You know, these cards may be worth a few bucks, but it's not often that people are looking to buy a Lapras GX, so they'd be sitting around for a while. You're not likely to get any insane finds. Honestly, I'm very happy with this Espeon EX. It's much better than I was expecting. So I'm happy with just this one card. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Please give this video a like and subscribe and comment down below if you want me to open up another mystery box. Next time I can do a hundred dollar one. Just let me know if you guys want that. Otherwise I'll keep making other types of content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.